Hello everyone, my name is Zelda Kelly. I'm with PsychicSecrets.com and this is your weekly reading along with my kitty Sam. <laughs> this is your weekly reading for August 21st through the 27th of 2022. So let's see what comes out and here we have two cards. So what we're going to do first is we're going to lay out this first row and then we'll lay out a second row. We're going to talk about this one. We're going to lay out a second row. And then we'll see what the real true message is. This, well, there's the other two. I love this. This reading will not resonate with everyone, as I said. So we just take what resonates with you. And they usually last anywhere from 7 to 10 days, depending upon your circumstance. Okay, so... Now, what I want to do is I want to cut the cards, and this is on the bottom of the deck. I love this energy. This is the Four of Wands. So we're going to set this to the side for right now. This is fantastic energy. What you have been doing, and I've got to tell you, it looks like you've been planning. You're planning, and I'm going to say your next move and I don't mean well maybe I do mean a house move because of this four of wands but this looks like you're planning your future you're taking your circumstances you're weighing the odds you see you need to have some balance here right here you're looking for balance and plus you have a sword here do you see that sword I'm sorry you see that sword but the fact that the sword goes off the end of the card means that you also may have some unfinished business that you need to attend to. That's why you have turned into the Queen of Swords energy. Now this is neither male nor female. It's just an energy card that I really like. And the fact that you've been weighing circumstances, situations, and maybe even relationships. The fact that you can and you do offer a hand, you can negotiate. This is a hand to help. I'm going to say a helping hand. But you're not opposed to ever sticking up for yourself or any of these sort of things. You are in a very, very good position. I love this for you. The Queen of Wands, she of course is n neither male or female, but she is this wonderful energy of just basically sitting by and watching what is coming to you. I love the sun card because the sun card, I'm just gonna say is almost self-explanatory because sh with the sun card, you're making sure that there's a good ending in sight that you're doing everything for not only your benefit, but for the benefit of others. We've got a great start here. So you are planning. You're planning, and this is good. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to sit this, this card to the side. All right? We're going to set that to the side, and we're going to ask for some final thoughts. And this card comes out, which is the Knight of Pentacles. Very good. We need to confirm and we need some final thoughts, final messages for this reading. Okay. So now we're going to pick out the next row. Very good. I love this. I love it. This is all pointing toward a very, very fantastic week for you. So in the second row, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ace, pardon me. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Page of Wands. So all of this is basically you're constructing your plan. Now, obviously, it's taken some finances. But I got to say, with this Knight of Pentacles, and you know the Knights are the, are the cards that announces 
things. They announce good things coming and sometimes not so good, but in this particular case, it's very good. He is announcing that there is a plan. Now, I love this because this Knight of Pentacles can actually mean that you've got plans about a house. And it can mean buying property, selling property, receiving money from a property. So if you're doing that, this coming week is an excellent week for you. Whether you're buying or selling, it looks like you have your money in, uh, that, that you've planned for your money, and definitely that you, you are uh, ready to celebrate. You see those people there, arm in arm. There's little children playing, if you can see. And of course, there's a house. Now, if you resonate with 1111, you can certainly, uh, this, this is your card, because that means you're manifesting also. But putting that to the side again, it looks as though there is this money coming. And I love how it this Ace of Pentacles is almost the assurance that there is a source of funds coming your way. As we move toward the last two cards, that is the victory. You're riding through victory. You really chose. I, I love this energy, this whole thing, because I know it's directly for you. You chose. You made some great choices. So you definitely were planning because it shows that there is a celebration of you riding away in victory. And with this page of wands, it looks like there is more news coming your way. And it could actually be, I'm going to say, if you've put an offer on a house, it could be an offer on a house as well. It could be selling a house. I think that you've made a plan's your plans are about moving. You've been planning this for a long time. I love this energy for you. This is going to be an excellent week. How about we get one more thought? How's that? We just we just pick up the cards and we ask for we ask for a final thought. We a final message for our friends, a final message. It looks like they're moving. Do we have a final message, please? A final message okay let's pick this card oh definitely this is going to be something that you cherish and you could do it for lifelong if you're buying a house this could be your forever home if you're selling a home you could be moving into your forever home after you've sold the first one this is an excellent card. You see, there is a gentleman there who is elderly. He's looking over his accomplishments. There's family around him, his little doggies. There's all kinds of, there's all kinds of meanings behind this particular card. But I'm going to say your final message is, this is a lifelong plan that you've had and that you're about to make. Very good, I love this for you. Thank you so much. I know you're going to have a wonderful week. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That really helps me a lot. And I will be back again with more content just for you. That's right. So you have a wonderful week. And I'll see you again next time.